helping us. Now let's start with um, how do you get referrals and assign clients to yield the best outcomes? So the referrals that we receive are initiated by a wide range of people. Family them, families themselves often call to request services. We often, as an agency, get a lot of calls from schools, primary care physicians, DCF. Those are some of the predominant referral sources. And so generally, anyone who's hoping to make a referral doesn't call my team directly. They call the NCSS agency and they're directed to the family assessment team. And then in a process more complex than I'm describing, the family assessment team goes out and does an intake in which they gather information about all the family's needs, and then they make appropriate referrals. And then when we're receiving referrals, that's because the concerns are primarily in the home, mm -hmm. and primary, primarily there are often multiple children, and um, they can be concerns from safety and basic needs to uh, understanding a complex diagnosis to behavior management and establishing routines. And we like to think of the uh, client as the family system. We have an identified client who's the child, but we really think of the whole family as, uh, you could think of it as kind of a mobile, mm -hmm. that all the pieces are connected, and in order for one piece to move, all pieces have to shift. So we really kind of think of it as connectivity issues, where there are things about the system that need to be tweaked and adjusted. So we're really there to support the whole family. So those are usually the referrals that we receive. And then as far as assigning the clients, then it's kind of a combination of who has the best treatment modality background for the specific needs of the clients, and then also who is availability. Because generally, everyone keeps a full staff caseload, and they're um, often seeing families we on a weekly basis, if not twice a week. So who has availability, and then also the clinical acuity level is how we kind of um, assign the next client is who's accessing crisis or having a lot of safety concerns, and so we triage based on, on the needs. Now, uh, what are some examples of different diagnoses um, that you use to help families to navigate the system and the kinds of goals that you develop? Um, so we work with a lot of different diagnoses. Um, they can really take on a very wide range in terms of what the children are presenting with. So some of those diagnoses could be um, PTSD, and uh, probably the most prevalent one would be ADHD. Um, but it's not uncommon to work with kids with depression or anxiety um, and uh, in that world of kind of all of those there's a lot of different goals that you can kind of uh, that you can develop with the families in order to address each of them mm -hmm. whether it's something that's specific to PTSD or something that's more ADHD but there are a lot of general themes that a lot of families uh, are kind of looking to do and work toward and one of them that I think we all probably work with is just communication and have having parents um, be able to communicate with their children in ways that they find are more effective ways to get the children to behave in the way that they want them to or to um, just kind of have a better dialogue about a lot of different things that are kind of stressing the family out so as Becky mentioned it's more around like a family system and not specific to the child what we develop our goals toward I mean it's definitely a balance of both so some of them are very specific for example if a child has PTSD you definitely want to work toward goals that are addressing that diagnosis mm -hmm. but at the same time we look at the family as a whole so if there's something that's very particular to not the identified child but the brother and his relationship with the identified child then there's that dynamic that also has some of uh, some goals that are built around that and um, we have a document that we use called the individual plan of care or an IPC and when we sit down with the family to go over that it's very much directed by them in terms of what we are going to be working towards so um, there could be a goal that's specific to communication it could be about um, the parents relationship themselves it could be about the child getting along with peers um, or it could be anything that's very specific to the diagnosis, so re, um, alleviating a lot of stressors, um, working on a day-to-day -day basis to kind of self-regulate in ways that you can work with the child to keep them physically and emotionally regulated throughout the day. So it, it does kind of cover a broad range of spectrums. We don't really have anything specific as far as a family or a type of diagnosis that is um, like our niche. It's kind of a little bit of everything.